files are important to a Linux system. They are more than just places to store things. The early Unix developers used the file metaphor to organize almost all computer interaction. This gives us a straightforward way to interact with all parts of Linux. The Linux file framework has two major components. First is file type. Linux file type describes the internal structural details of the file. There are many types of Linux files because there are many ways of interacting with a computer. Some common Linux file types include ASCII text, directory, block special, and symbolic link. The file command is a big help. It will describe a file to you and tell you its type. The second part of the Linux file framework is file context. Linux file context is metadata that provides meaning and relationships. Linux file context includes location. Location is created by a file's connections within the directory. File context includes ownership. Files have external data that specifies who owns them. They have a user owner and a group owner. Context also includes access rights and permissions. Files have info that specifies who can see, use, and alter them. Finally, Linux file context includes name. There are styles and conventions for naming Linux files, but it's up to stupid humans to pick meaningful names. <laughs> Sometimes Linux names don't make sense except as history lessons. I like to think that the early Unix developers called their programs LS, MV, CP, and RM instead of the more ob obvious Deer, Move, Copy, and Remove because they didn't like to type? Or maybe they were an unofficial project that had to steal teletype paper. But <laughs> calling a program CAT or GREP instead of something more expressive like dump or search indicates greater underlying issues. The subjects manifest the conscious conflicts with authority. Classic displacement and projection. Perhaps there is enduring trauma caused by the party training. Then there is the crap incident. Calling a match or find program crap instead of anything obvious is the terrifying reminder that drugs and computers don't mix. So, for example, a simple text file can have any name. It is marked by its metadata as a simple file, and it contains text. On the other hand, a directory file can also have any name, but it's marked by its metadata as a directory, and its contents are structured as an index of files and file metadata. 